everyone and welcome back to my channel and today's video is finally my hair routine i have had so many comments about my hair what i use and the products i use how i style it so i thought i'd do a video just so i can answer any questions that you've been asking me now i will say before i start this all of my other videos that i've so far put up i've just had my natural hair and i've either had clipping extensions in which I'll get onto in a little while, or I've just curled my natural hair. Since then, I've actually had tape extensions put in, so they're in my head like all day, every day, 24 seven. Um, so I'm gonna basically go through what I did before I had tape extensions with my hair, as you've all seen in my videos, how I achieved that style or that look, and now what I do with tape extensions. So anyone with tape extensions can see how I feel about them and how I deal with them, and whether they're a good idea for you. But as you have all asked me to say about my hair before I had them, I'm gonna go through everything I used, how I styled my hair, what extensions I used. So I'm gonna do like a before and after start off with products to wash my hair so now i've got hair extensions in which i don't i'll quickly just show you what they look like there you can see one there it's just literally a tape in my hair i will get on to how i feel about them and like my experience of getting them but before i had hair extensions and i just had my natural hair the shampoo and conditioner i used was aussie a little bit more of an expensive shampoo and conditioner but i generally believe that it's expensive for a reason it smells so good i feel like it was the only shampoo conditioner that actually made my hair feel clean and because i have quite frizzy and dry hair um it sort of made that better for me like it just tamed it down a little bit and um, I just feel like it was the shampoo and conditioner that I loved. Now obviously I have got hair extensions. There's only one particular hair extension shampoo and conditioner that I can use which is the Beauty Works um, shampoo and conditioner. It's the Argan Oil Pearl Nourishing sort of one. Um, but yeah, that's now. But before I used the Aussie shampoo and conditioner, to be very specific, I think I used the, either the Miracle Shine one. I think it's called Miracle Shine or... Um, the moisture one or lush long luscious looks or something i'll link them all in the description box down below um you can get them from Superdrug or boots so if you are a student you can get student discount on them which is a good thing now as i said my hair can be quite like frizzy you've seen it in my previous video i virtually look like blooming hagrid You've sort of seen how I deal with it. But the product that I use to tame this. So I have used so many argan oils, so many serums and so many products to try and get away the frizz basically and the dryness. And this is the best one that I have come across. So this is the, um, I think it's OGX. I just, I, I literally know the brand. It, again, this is quite an, on the expensive side. Just they do really nice shampoo conditions as well. So it's the Kukai, I think that's how you say it, oil, um, anti-frizz hydrating oil. It's literally a spray oil and it smells so nice and I feel like it really makes a difference. And when my hair was towel dried, I'd spray it on and then I'd hair dry my hair curl my hair or straighten my hair and then I'd go in again with it um, after I've straightened or curl it and I'd spray it in my hands, rub my hands together and run my hands through my hair. But now I obviously have hair extensions, I've been told I'm not allowed to use oils or serums like this anymore. I've got to use a specific oil. So I just use the Beauty Works Argan Serum with Argan Oil. Um, again, this is because I have got hair extensions. This might ruin it or might not go well with them. So yeah, this is now the oil that I use. Again, I just, once my hair is towel dried or like rough dried, I just put a run this through it and then once i've styled it i do it again so you're probably wondering um what the hell like you've got a full face of makeup on but usually when i wash my hair i sit and do my makeup i then leave my hair to dry naturally and then i go through with the hair dry to dry off a little bit more um i'm not allowed to leave my hair to dry naturally you're not allowed to when you have tape extensions you have to hair dry them you can just hair dry the um, root and that the tops. You can't not dry them. You can go out with a length wet, but you should dry the tops because otherwise your hair can mat and it can become damaging to your hair. So all I do is I just brush my hair through and then I run through the serum with my Argan Oil from Beauty Works. Um, before I got extensions, I used mostly Tangle Teasers or just a hair brushes from Primark. 
um but you need quite a soft brush on hair extensions because obviously you don't want to pull on them because it can cause damage to your natural root so i've just got the um i think it's den man brush i literally see this everywhere it's really soft and i feel like it brushes your hair really nicely so yeah this is a brush i use now again you can get this from boots um i don't know if you get it from but i got mine from boots and the student discount is of course working wonders now i'm just going to go through my beauty works argan oil um maybe three or maybe three and a half pumps rub my hands together and just literally run it through this argan oil from beauty works has the weirdest smell to it it literally smells like beer it's like it smells like a sweet beer but once you dry your hair it smells beautiful but yeah like the woman who done my hair literally said to me she was like it smells so strong when you first get it out, but it like smells nice once you've done it. So yeah, just gonna run this through. And before I got extensions, I do exactly the same with this oil, just through my natural hair. But now I've got extensions, I've obviously got to use that Pacific oil. Okay, now I run my hands completely through my hair, whether or not you have extensions, I then move on to drying. So the hair dryer I use, um, I just got this because I thought it was really pretty. I got it quite a few years ago, so it's a bit naff now. But it is the Mark Hill, um, it's like a matte black hair dryer. So I literally just go through with my hair still all down and just rough dry my hair. I would do the exact same um, if I didn't have extensions. Just quickly rough dry all my hair until it's about 85% dry. And then I'll go through and section it and dry it properly. So I'm just going to quickly rough dry my hair now. Okay, so I've dried my hair about 85%. Um, it's still a little bit damp. You can just see now how like frizzy my natural hair can get. So I'm just going to give it a brush through and then I'm going to start sectioning it and drying it properly off with a round um, hot brush. You can just get these from like Boots or Super Drug, anywhere like that really. So with tape extensions, you need to section it like by tapes. Um, so I've like learned how to do this as I've gone on. I literally find the first two tapes at the bottom and run my hands through and lift the other tapes. So I literally just feel for the tapes and I've sectioned my hair so that the rest of the hair is up. And then I use my hot brush and my hair, same hair dryer. But this time I turn the heat down a little bit and also the power so I can do more of a smooth blow dryer. Um, I'm not the best, but so it's not so powerful and blowing it all about the place. Okay, once I think the lengths of my hair is dry, I use the hair dryer and I just um, dry the back um, here because you need to make sure that the tapes are dry. I would do that anyway if I didn't have them. But then after that, I actually turn the hair dryer cold and just go through it with a cold air because it just makes it more smooth and apparently it's supposed to increase the shine, which I'm not sure is correct, but I like to think so anyway. can see but then this is the side after i blast it with cold air and this is the side um without it it's just a bit more um i don't know frizzy and um not as smooth so i'm just gonna quickly go and do this side and then once i've done that section i just move on to the next and do the exact same thing before i got tape extensions i would do exactly the same as what i'm doing now or i just leave my hair to naturally dry Another tip while I'm talking about frizziness that I have learned that really helps if you like suffer from having frizzy hair is after you've washed your hair, um, blast your hair with cold water. Although that can be so horrible when, when you're standing in the shower and you've just got to basically shower yourself with freezing cold water you'll see the difference that it makes it literally makes so much difference um i feel like it makes your hair so much smoother and shinier and um everyone says it does as well but i've noticed difference in my hair but um yeah you can probably see a better view there of what a tape looks like so it's literally so so flat they are the lightest things i cannot even feel them in my hair which is just amazing and when you put your hair up they simply just go up the other way as you can see and you literally can't see them whatsoever mm -hmm. 
one thing I absolutely love about having these extensions, the first thing is that your hair dries so straight and like I feel like I could bow dry my hair and go out without having to straighten or curl it whereas Whereas when I had my natural hair, I couldn't leave the house without curling or straightening my hair. So that is one really good thing I love about having these. Um, and they're just so soft and just, I am in love with them. I have not got one bad thing to say about them. Well, right now you can literally tell what's my natural hair and what isn't because how frizzy it is. But this is what I have to deal with. Um, I've already showed you. It's literally just not straight, not curly. So now I'm just going to blow dry into my extensions. And then I'll move on to how I style them. And how I styled my hair before I had them. <music> okay, my hair is all dry now. Um, you can tell... My hair is still a little bit frizzy, but that's just because I have natural hair. But my hair overall looks so, like, much more straight and just smoother than it would because of the extensions. Um, I feel like if I was in a rush, I could get away with going out with my hair like this. Um, although, usually, I would straighten it if I was to want it straight. Once I've dried my natural hair, I will then either straighten it or curl it. Now, the straighteners that I use, I've used this now for about a year. Um, I actually bought them when I went to Berlin um, to go to the Christmas market. I got a really good deal on them. Um, and I have really loved them, to be honest. They are really, like, good straighteners. Um, you can change the temperature of them. Now, these are the Golden Curl um, straighteners, and I got the Gold Edition. Now, these are quite expensive. Like, if you were just to buy them online, I was just lucky enough to bump into, like, a store. They were doing promotions. Um, she basically offered me deals because I kept going, no, I'm not sure. Um, so I got them for very, very good money um, compared to what they are just online if you was to order them. You also get five years warranty. So if anything goes wrong with them for five years, I can get a brand new pair for free. They come with this cute little um, heat mat. And one thing I love about this is after you're finished with them, you literally, there's like a little pocket. You literally can put them in the pocket. So then they're like that. And then you can shut that and wrap the cord around that, which I think is really good because there's nothing more worrying than leaving your house um, after you've just straightened your hair and you're scared that your straightener is going to like catch on something so that is why I really love this that is one really good thing um, I don't know if I've mentioned before but I did do something a little bit wrong by them in Germany I basically told my mum that I bought them and she went but aren't they going to have like a Europe plug yes they did so I had to buy an adapter so that I can actually use them in England. But that's absolutely fine. It hasn't caused me any trouble at all. But that is just me all over. I'm not sure if I've actually mentioned that before. But, you know. I actually use these to straighten my hair. Um, and curl my hair with my natural hair. I'm not actually going to use these to curl my hair. Um, because you're not supposed to use these to curl your hair when you've got extensions in. You're supposed to use like a tong. So before I had extensions, I always use straighteners to curl my hair. You'll see in a little video here hated each other i've already said this in um yeah, a video both like the same boy yeah boy knows. <laughs> boyfriend drama at the age of like 10. <laughs> anyway so me and um so all i did i'm obviously they're not obviously on but i'm just going to show you how i did it i'd get a strand of hair maybe a bit bigger than that maybe about this thick um i'd turn the straightness so my thumb was facing outward so my thumb is facing you I literally simply put them in I maybe straightened them a few times like that just to get really rid of any frizz up there and then I'd literally so my hand is here I'd then turn my hand this way flip flip that over and then literally just pull it down like so and then a beautiful curl would come out. Obviously, they're not on. I'm just going to show you again because some people find it really difficult to curl your hair with straighteners. And I know I did. I just kept trying and I eventually got it. And it's actually really easy once you realise how to do it. You literally... So, my thumb is facing outwards. So, my wrist... So, say you usually straighten your hair like that. You literally completely rotate your hand like so. I then turn it. So, my thumb is now at the bottom. Flip that round. Keep turning. Hold the end. And literally just pull it all the way down and then a beautiful curl would come out so that is how i curled my natural hair every time i'd curl my hair because i obviously suffer from quite frizzy hair i'd always sometimes go at the top with the straight straightening first i'd go like this to make it a little bit less frizzy and then i'd curl it even though i've got extensions now i still do use these and i still do that 
um, but I just don't curl my hair with these. I still just get rid of some frizz of my natural hair using the straighteners and then I go in with the tong. So the tong I use now, I've got the extensions, is the um, Fabulous Rose Gold. Uh, I'll link this in the description box as well. Um, I literally didn't buy it that long ago and it was on offer and I also got a shoe discount on top. So I think it was like maybe... £40 or £45 and I ended up getting it for £25 so it's really good. Um, I've never actually used one of these before. I've been told to use these rather than the straighteners to curl my hair because it prevents from tugging on the extensions and obviously like if you're pulling your natural hair it can cause damage. So I use these to curl my extensions with. Um, I do really love them. The only thing I would say about them is they don't... I quite like an actual like curl rather than a wave and this this gives you like this sort of wave look which i love and i'm getting more used to how to do them at the moment my curls in my extensions don't last very long compared to my natural hair i could usually curl my hair and then with straighteners and it would last for maybe about three to four days before i'd then wash it again the curl just held really well on my natural hair but i've got to apparently keep washing my hair um and the more I wash it, the more it will hold because it washes off some sort of, um, I don't know if it was like a serum or a chemical that is kept on the extensions while they're in the packet before they're actually put onto someone's hair. So yeah, eventually their curl will last a lot better. Another appliance that I absolutely love, um, and with my natural hair, I sometimes switch it between curling my hair with the straighteners or this, is the um, Babyliss. I'm not actually sure what this is called but i'm sure that most of you have seen it it's actually so cool you literally put your hair in like that and it sucks in your hair and then you release it and it creates a curl you can literally create any sort of look with this you can change the way the curl goes you can change how curly it goes you can change how long the time is on for the only thing i would say with this is that it does really hurt when your hair gets trapped in it and i actually have a friend that her hair got stuck in it so she had to, she had to actually cut her natural hair because she couldn't get it out um, but yeah, you've got to make sure you have a bit of practice with this before you actually start using it properly because you have to have it held in a certain way. You always have to have this side facing your head and yeah, it can hurt quite a bit when you get your hair stuck but I do really love this. This is more on the expensive side from Babyliss but I would say it's really worth it if you want to create different looks of your hair whether that's tight waves, tight curls, loose waves, loose curls. Um, I'd really recommend this to anyone that wants to do a number of different looks. So this Babyliss tong actually has different heat settings. It goes from 160 to 210. Um, I've been told to keep it at 180 for extensions because you don't want to damage them. So although I've already put oil on my hair, I actually put a little bit more before I put more heat on just to protect the hair extensions. Um, it just protects them from basically being burnt because obviously they're not getting the nutrients from the scalp like your natural hair does. So I'm just going to go through my hair with that, just through my fingertips. <laughs> start off with just sectioning my hair exactly the same as how I did it when I hair dry my hair you've got to feel for the bottom two tapes um, and then section your hair from there upwards. All my straighteners are at 180 as well and I literally just run a brush through and straighten this just to get any frizziness out from my natural hair before I then curl them. I tend to curl my hair more than straighten I don't know why I just I just feel like I suit curly hair more and I don't know I just think it looks nicer. Um, I just want to, I feel like because my hair is quite dry and frizzy, when I straighten it, it does look, it doesn't look like smooth and silky like other people's hair. So I just feel like it doesn't look as nice as people that do have hair like that. My tongs are already heated, so all I literally do is I make sure that I curl outwards rather than in towards my face. So with curling, you can literally, with these, you can get like a really big section to create quite a thick wave or loose curl or quite a small section. And this time I'm going to go for small because I want to see how well it lasts. I'm just going to grab a section here. Um, literally just open them up, put them in the tongue and, and literally wrap it round going away from your face. The only thing I sometimes have thought about these is that I get really scared I'm going to burn myself. So I really need to get myself a heat protector glove. That is one not good thing about these. I don't come with one of them and I feel like I burn my hands more on these than I would with straighteners. But yeah. Anyway, I hold that for about 10 seconds before I release it. I catch it in my hand and I leave it to cool down. I literally just catch it in my hand, put the tongs down 
and I've been told to use quite a soft hairspray with hair extensions. They're not done, they don't do anything to hair extensions, but it's just to keep them in nice condition. Um, so I bought the Got To Be um, Flexible Hairspray. It's a light control, natural hold, um, long lasting. So it's just a bit of a lighter hairspray rather than a really strong hold. So I leave the curl to cool down in my hand and I literally just release it. Give it a little bit of a spray. And then send that to the back of my hair. And then I do exactly the same, but on all of my hair. It's pretty much as straightforward as so. So if anybody's wondering, I got my hair extensions um, from Beauty Works. They are the Slim Line Tapes. Um, they are the hair extensions that basically a lot of reality stars use, Molly May in particular, because everyone says how nice her hair is. So that's why I went for them extensions, because I hear such good things about them. I literally haven't had any trouble with them at the moment. I've literally loved having them. Basically, the reason why I got them is because I loved what my hair looked like with my clipping extensions. Um, and with them, I just felt so much nicer, so much more confident. So if anyone's wondering, before I got tape extensions, the extensions that I used, the clipping extensions, were the, I think you say Lula Bells. I don't know if it's Lula Bells or Lula Bells, but I think it's Lula Bells. So them extensions, they are literally ridiculously cheap. Like they are so affordable. The only issue I have with these extensions is that I probably bought my first clip in extensions. I've only been wearing them for a little while. Um... I probably got them around a year ago, maybe a little bit less than that. The first pair that I ever bought were my favourite and they still are to this day. So I bought the curly um, 20 inch one clipping extension, so it's just one whole massive clipping. And then basically when I first got them, they I thought they were too long for my hair, they didn't suit my hair. So I literally just cut them down to, I'd say I'd cut probably about that much off um and then i really liked them really liked them through the whole time i wore them obviously clipping extensions aren't the most comfortable thing so yeah i had them i then bought a new pair because i was going to my bayer and i wanted a new pair i didn't know how i would also take them to my bayer without them getting all like damaged and like creased in my case so I bought two new pairs to specifically wear in my bayer, so they'll be really nice, new and fresh, because they're so nice when they first come. This time I bought 16 inch because I was like, right, I didn't, I didn't like um, 20 inch. I thought they were too long, so 16 inch might be better. Perfect length for me. The only problem is, is I tried like another four slash five pairs since my first pair. And for some reason, I just felt like they were not as curly as my first pair at all. And the curls would drop so quickly. And they were more of like a flick than a curl. And that is the only problem that I found with them. I felt like they just weren't curly anymore. And to this day, just before I got these extensions, I literally continuously wore my first ones that I ever bought. My, all my new ones that I bought, which you would think I'd wear more. I didn't wear like I chucked them away or they just sat in my cupboard that is the only problem with them I also got the straight ones they were really nice um I felt like you can't really go wrong with them there's nothing to really bad to say about them because they were just straight so they stayed straight um but yeah I would say if you're looking for some cheap hair extensions to wear like I don't know once or twice they are such affordable hair extensions i cannot literally explain it to you never buy them when they're not doing an offer because lula bells literally do sales all the time or do like 25 percent off or sometimes even like 40 percent off and you're literally an idiot if you buy them when they're full price because they literally do offers all the time they've also just introduced um shoot discount so yeah that is the extensions that i bought you are able to restyle them, but I found restyling them with heat just completely ruined them. I've done it such a low heat, and I, like, clipped them into place, and it did make them go a lot more curly, but I just found that it made them look so, like, frizzy and matted. I even got a professional hairdresser to try and do it for me, like, a professional high-up senior stylist, um, and she said exactly the same. They just go a bit dry and matted and just not very nice, but I suppose you're just paying for what you get. They're so cheap, and... They are the extensions that I wore the whole ex 
entire time but for some reason the first pair were my absolute favourite I found they were so much more curly than any other pair I ever got so yeah that is the only thing I'd say about them Another tip that I'd give people that feel like their hair is so damaged and it does not grow. Basically, I felt like my hair was like that. It was so damaged. I didn't get regularly cut and I felt like it was so dry and disgusting and I just wanted nice hair. So I literally cut my whole hair off. I literally had hair like up to here um, and I basically started to regrow it. I found that getting haircuts every six to eight weeks do make such a difference, like literally such a massive difference you probably think well how because you're literally just cutting off your hair that's grown but no i literally don't think so like it just is so much healthier the more it grows um it has taken me like literally two three years to get the hair length that i'm at now and to have like i feel like my hair is a lot more healthier than it was before i got it all cut off so it does take a long time some people's hair grows so much quicker than others i weren't blessed with that yeah that is Another tip I'd give someone that is wanting to grow out their hair to be so much healthier. The only result I'd found really was to just cut it off and start again and just basically really treat it well. Continually use like serums, um, nice shampoos and conditioners, get it cut regularly. That is the only way that I found I actually made my hair go back to being nice again. <music> people from um tape extensions is if they're damaging to your natural hair so that was one thing i was really worried about because i had spent so long trying to get my hair back into good condition and then i was scared i was just going to ruin them again by getting them but the they got described to me as they're unnatural obviously they're like eyelash extensions they're unnatural but if you look after them and if you get maintenance and you don't put that like basically if you pull your eyelash extensions out you're going to pull out your real eyelash it's the same as your hair. If you try and pull the extension, you're going to damage your natural hair. As long as you get them applied right, um, you get them like the maintenance done properly, then you're fine. Like they're not, they're the lightest form of extension. They don't pull down on your natural hair. They literally, you can't even feel them. If you're thinking about getting them and that's putting you off, then I'd say don't let it put you off. Just do your research and make sure you get them done by someone that professionally does them and knows what they're doing and has a lot of experience. For this top bit, I honestly want to make sure it's as smooth as possible. So I use the straighteners and straighten the tops of my hair to make it go not as fluffy. She just tuck the rest of my hair behind my ear because I feel like the front is so important to get right because obviously it's what you see the most. I just literally do the same at the bits at the back and curl these going away from my face and then I have basically short bits at the front. They've grown out a little bit but they were meant to be like bangs. So I'll show you how I style them and what I usually do. So there may be a few questions as to um, who has done my hair now she is the loveliest girl ever um she seems to know what she's doing and she seems to have a lot of experience in it so her instagram is ruby lacy hair not too far away from essex it literally take, took me like half an hour to get there um on a good run so yeah she's just so good and she's literally just transformed me and my hair and i literally like love my hair so much now i'm so glad that i got it done by someone that sort of knows what they're doing so yeah i wouldn't recommend anybody else like she gets featured on the beauty works instagram and she's just really good and yeah so have a look little look if you're thinking about getting them done and you're from the essex area and um, she's also like she lives in like hertfordshire sort of way um so yeah just have a look if you're thinking about getting them done because i'd really recommend her to you so i've literally completed all of my length of hair i'm just gonna give it one final spray now i style the front either two ways i either use the straighteners and 
um, go like this and make them just flick at the ends or I try and curl them into my curls and lift the camera up so you can see a little bit better but I literally put the straighteners in I go up and I just curl and turn the straightener slightly so then it creates a flick at the end you'll see what I mean you can sort of see them there they're literally so long right now I need to get them cut but it's just her I don't know cute little bangs but now I'm gonna leave my hair to cool down for half an hour and then I run my fingers through it and maybe brush it and so I'll see you in half an hour okay I've left my hair to cool down and it has slightly dropped um this is the end result I currently look a bit like a poodle so I'm just gonna give it a little brush and you'll see what it comes out like And there we go that is the finishing results of my hair so I've literally just really softly brushed it out um, I don't want to do it too much because I obviously want the curls to last so tomorrow I wake up and it'll be a lot more dropped than this and I usually do prefer it a day after I've curled it I always run through a tiny bit I literally am so addicted to this I just literally not don't even do one pump and just run it through just to give it a bit of a glow And just to make it a lot more smoother and smell nice again with the same oil and there we are so thank you so much i hope you all enjoyed this video you now know my hair routine and what i do and you now know what i do before i had extensions just for the people that were asking me on my videos i hope to see you soon and um, thank you again for the support and there'll be more content to come. So thank you. Bye.